Hi there, my name's Garnet and this is Kirsty and we're the parents of Noah and Amelia. Noah who's 12 and Amelia who's 10. Um, we're Christian parents and so we think there's a big vision for the task of parenting. It goes beyond just finding good friends for our kids or getting a great education, you know, the right job. Um, it's about eternity. It's about having our kids meet Jesus and grow in Him. Um, at the same time though, we want to see the role that we play in it. Um, it's God who changes hearts. It's God who um, is sovereign and we want to trust in Him in all of this. But as Christian parents, we want to be parents who read the Bible with our kids and pray with them. And we think there's a whole bunch of great resources out there that point our kids to Jesus. Um, we'll show them just how wonderful He is. And we don't think it's ever too early to start teaching the Bible to your kids. And the great way to do it when they're babies is actually just starting with music, Christian music. Now, we love Colin Buchanan. Colin was probably one of Noah's first words that he ever said, probably before mum. But it was just a great way of getting our kids to hear Bible truths. And it's also great for mums and dads who are struggling to read the Bible as well with young babies, um, just a way for them to hear God's word as well. And look, there's even DVDs, and you can see this is greatly loved. And once our kids got a little bit older, we started reading kids' Bibles with them because you could read the adult Bible with them, but kids' Bibles are so great. They're colourful. They use words that kids can understand, and some of them even rhyme. Um, my favourite was the, um, the Lion's First Bible because it actually has sound effects like whoosh and boom and bang, and uh, kids just love that. But in the same time, we're still teaching them about God's Word. Uh, when they got a bit older and they got a bit over those Bibles, we then went on to our two most favourite um, Bibles, um, the Big Picture Story Bible. Uh, it was fantastic because it tells the whole story, the whole of God's plan from the beginning right to the end. And that was just a great way of getting the great big picture of God's plan. And then the Jesus Storybook Bible, um, the colours in this are beautiful. Kids just love it. But even better, every story whispers Jesus' name, which is great for adults too, to see how the Old Testament actually points to Jesus, the Saviour. Um, the other thing we did for our kids, which we thought was great, was when they got to about grade two and they could start to read, we bought them their own, I guess, full script Bible where all the words are in it, but it was in a version that they could understand. It still had helpful things for them to understand God's word. And once Noah hit um, high school, the kids' Bibles weren't going to cut it anymore. And so for Christmas, we did actually get him uh, a new Bible, one that was more teenage appropriate, one that he would be more, um, not be embarrassed about taking off to, to youth group or elevate. So. I've, and I've had a bit of fun with Noah too. We made a box for his Bible, which he's been able to put some pictures and stickers on. So that's been a bit of fun for us. As a family, we've tried morning and we've tried night to read the Bible with our kids. And it's always been a case of just working out the best time when they're going to be the most attentive. Uh, for us as a family, I guess it's always been also working out when best works for me because I've wanted to take on the responsibility of reading the Bible with our kids. At the moment, uh, what seems to be working is reading the Bible and praying with our kids before bedtime. And sometimes it actually has been better in the morning over breakfast. And it is challenging. Sometimes the kids just aren't particularly interested. Um, they're bouncing on the bed. Um, they're saying this is boring. Um, they're too tired. Yes. Um, so there's challenges with the kids. There's challenges also that comes from me because I'm too tired. Um, and so I bring my you know, issues to it. Um, it's not always a beautiful, serene picture of the Christian family coming around the word. I don't think it ever is, is it? A few days, a few <laughs> nights it is. Um, but I just want to say it's about persevering. Uh, it's persevering in the moment when the kids are bouncing around, when the kids are saying, I'm bored. Just keep showing the kids that this is important. Take the lead uh, with praying. If they don't want to pray, that's okay. Hey, I struggle with prayer, um, but take the lead with them. Um, and also just persevere in that, you know, there's going to be times when you don't do it. Um, days, weeks, months. But just keep that big picture in mind. Keep going back to it. And just keep realising it's about wanting to show our kids Jesus. It's wanting to see them grow in Christ. Um, so keep going back to it, persevere in it. It's never too late to start. Exactly. There are lots of resources out there to help parents read the Bible with their kids. We started off just reading the stories to the kids, but then we actually wanted to add more um, more depth to what we were reading with them. And the first place we actually went was um, Colin Buchanan's books. 
um, they were great mainly because the kids already knew the song so it was actually a very natural progression onto um, just reading through these books with the kids. It talks about his songs and what the words mean in the songs and just really expands um, some great theology in kids language and they were fantastic. Um, if you're using the Beginner's Bible and you're reading the story with the kids uh, they've put out this information, this little booklet here to go with this Bible. So you read the story with the kids and then you answer questions and this is for preschool kids and it even has little um, cards that you can take with you during the day as to what you can talk to the kids while you're at the shops or at the park. Keep bringing God into everyday life and that would be fantastic to use with um, preschool kids. Um, some other new material that is only recently come out is the old story new. It actually goes along with the gospel story bible. This is a fantastic bible also just talking about God's plan throughout the whole of the bible and this is probably for older children probably probably 8 to 12 they recommend but it's really looking reading the gospel story bible and then working through some devotions with that as well. In the last couple of years, one of my all-time favourite resources that we've used with the kids is this one, Exploring Grace Together by Jessica Thompson. Um, it takes a verse from the Bible and then it gives you a scenario of a child's life. And it actually, what's wonderful about it, it's not showing how being a Christian makes you a more moral person. It's about how the gospel changes your heart. And I've just found it just a, such a great thing to read this with the kids. Um, it's been great. Um, I think we probably should say that we very rarely finish anything. This is true. We start things, they go for a while, and then the kids get a bit bored and then we change it up and try something new. So uh, we don't have to finish everything that we do. Yes. Um, it's okay to change and find things that yep. fit our kids' needs better. As a family, we're always trying to work out where our kids are at, you know, how self-motivated are they, how much do they enjoy reading for themselves. But with all, that in mind, with all of that in mind, we're reading through um, a booklet series called Discover by The Good Book Company. Uh, we're reading through this one at the moment with a very ugly bird on the cover, but we're going through 1 and 2 Samuel and John at the moment. It's been great. Amir has taken up her own Discover booklet and she's doing that for herself as well. And just recently we've taken up a bit of a challenge for us as a family and that is we're using something called the New City Catechism which is produced by Redeemer Presbyterian in the States along with the Gospel Coalition. Uh, it's something available on iPad and computer. There's 52 questions along with 52 answers, one for every week in the year. And it's just going through different aspects of God's truth. Um, and the challenge is, is to remember each of the questions and answer. Um, as a family, we're up to the first 12. The kids are doing great. Um, unashamedly, I use bribery. Uh, every week there's a prize if they can remember um, the next answer. And that's been a lot of fun uh, for us as a family. Our kids are still quite young and we haven't got to the real teenage years yet. But we know that there is plenty of material out there for teenagers. Um, Noah goes along to elevate our youth group and they provide material called Daily Discussions with God. And that's something that he will be able to use as well. Um, the Discover books, there's then um, another one called Explore, which is for uh, 13 to 17 year olds. So there are more resources out there for teenagers as well. But um, I just the last thing I wanted to show you was this book called Thoughts to Make Your Heart Sing. Now we've used this with the kids over the years as well and um, it's actually Noah's favourite um, resource, he says, because it's short, they're poems, but they really teach you about the simple truths of what Jesus is and who he is and how much he loves us. And I think that's the thing with reading the Bible with our kids. It it teaches them about God and it, it's shaping their hearts, but also um, it helps us as adults to understand God more. It helps us to grow in our faith and our relationship with him. So reading the Bible with the kid, kids has added benefits for adults too. And I just really encourage you to be reading the Bible with your children. Thanks for watching this video in which we've shared something of our experiences as a family to read the Bible with our kids. It's such a great thing to do that we might uh, show them the gospel, show them Jesus. But at the same time, we've just got to realise that the small part that we play in this, it's God who changes lives. Um, God, it's God who will bring them to know Jesus. But at the same time too, we've just got to persevere. It's not always, not always easy, but let's keep going there and working at reading the Bible with our kids. Um, so thanks very much for watching this video.